Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, my name is Ron Schultz and on behalf of Scania, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to join us here at the Timber Yard this evening. I'm confident what we have planned for you tonight won't disappoint. If you haven't already done so, please put your phones to silent. Thank you. stage, Scania Australia's Director of Bus and Coach, Julian Gurney. Thanks, Ron. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure to welcome everybody to the launch of the new bus generation from Scania. As an industry, it's fair to say it's been a long time between drinks. However, we're really pleased to be able to have all of you here tonight for the first major industry event of what we hope will be a very social year. In fact, we were just talking outside, it was November 2019 at the Bic in Canberra that we last had such a large gathering of bus industry, so a long time between drinks in Dean. This is a really important launch for Scania Bus in Australia as we finally get the opportunity to welcome a new arrival to the family. Our new generation chassis provides a platform for exciting innovations for our most vulnerable road users. And it also confirms our position as the leaders in sustainable transport. Tonight, we'll introduce you to all the features and benefits of our new chassis and powertrain, as well as outline our improved environmental performance and how this will benefit the only business that matters, yours. But first, I'd like to hand you over to Anna Carmo Silva, our Senior Vice President of Buses and Coaches, to officially welcome you to the launch. Thanks, Anna. Hey, from Sweden. Public transport globally is transitioning from fossil fuels to renewables and alternatives, aiming to drive down exhaust and noise pollution and improve the customer experience. All of us at Scania Buses and Coaches are very excited that our new bus generation chassis is launching in Australia. Our European launch has been very successful with outstanding acceptance from the European markets. The Australian bus and coach market has always been a very important part of our global business. The unique needs of Australian bus and coach operators, in particular your higher average running speed and ambient temperatures, greater distances and longer service life were a major consideration during the development phase of the new bus generation. Future-proofing your business was a key focus for us and the chassis and systems have been designed to be flexible enough to cope with whichever powertrain you want or need to use for your operation. The new bus generation has been designed to be able to help you transition your business from relying on traditional diesel to running on low emission biofuels or switching to battery power when the time is right for you. In line with our long-standing focus on the driver as the key influencer of your total operating economy, all of our new driver station is easier to use with improved ergonomics and even better visibility. This delivers a more comfortable and safer working environment for your drivers. I am confident you will be very pleased with what my colleagues in Australia are about to present to you. I hope that lockdowns and border closures will soon be a distant memory 
your tourism sector bounces back and you can return to business as usual. In the meantime, please be assured Scania and our new bus generation remains committed to the only business that matters, yours. Thanks so much, Anna. Unfortunately, Anna would have been here tonight if not for the COVID restrictions that were in place when we organised the launch. And as she mentioned, Australia is an extremely important market for Scania. As we constantly appear as a top 10 market for Scania bus deliveries globally. And that's all thanks to everybody that's here tonight. So thank you, everybody. But before I continue, I'd like to introduce someone most of you already know, Mikhail Janssen, our Managing Director. Hello, good evening, and welcome Scania bus lovers. Nice to see you all here. Fantastic. And thank you, Jules, for that introduction. I must say I'm that excited by this new bus generation that we are launching tonight. It's raising the benchmarks for safety, technology, innovation, and performance, as well as passenger comfort and driver satisfaction. As Anna and Julian mentioned, buses are very important for Scania, especially for Scania Australia. And I would again like to thank you all for your ongoing support. At Scania Australia, we don't just talk about sustainability every day. Our people live it. At our President's New South Wales branch, we have implemented a far-reaching and now also award-winning environmental program to reduce waste, recycle and reuse. All our people are buying into this very successful program and we will be rolling it out across the country. Globally, Scania is leading the change towards a sustainable transport system. And in Australia, we have Euro 6 diesel, hybrid electric, and biodiesel buses already in operation, with BEV buses to be introduced later this year. We are one of the long time leaders in the Australian bus market for route, school, charter, as well as for three axle touring coaches. Our commercial success is due to robust products, our nationwide network of service points, and the fundamental commitment to uptime and customer profitability. We have earned our impressive customer loyalty because we deliver on our promises. The bus industry is now more focused than ever on sustainability. We have been pushing this for several years. But talk time is over. We are at the start of the action stage. Our path to zero tailpipe emissions starts with our here and now intermediate technologies of hybrid electrics and biofuels engines. And we are excited about the arrivals of our very first electric bus chassis into the country. The transition to zero emission transport must be commercially viable and affordable for you, as well as for the environment. As an industry, we have to evolve and bring everyone along onto the journey together. Scania is ready to assist in a measured and responsible approach to the transition. Offering commercially viable solutions. Scania's new bus generation will carry you from ICE to BEV sustainably, 
affordably and at your pace. Thank you for joining us this evening. I look forward to chatting with you in more detail tonight. Thank you. <laughs> now to tell you more about our sustainability pathway, here is our sustainable solution manager, Anthony King. Good evening, everyone. It's lovely to see you here all tonight. Um, I think from an Escaño, Australia, we spent many years preparing for this stage in the transition to a sustainable transport solution. It's a transition that sees commercial sustainability and environmental sustainability as mutually attainable goals. Solutions such as Scania Ecolution, a whole-of-life approach to reduced costs, reduced emissions, and reduced environmental impact. Our renewable fuels and hybrid electric solutions are the bridge to BEV, to zero tailpipe emissions that you can afford. We're using proven technology that has known operating costs, experienced technical support, predictable lifespans, and quantifiable profitable outcomes. We have talked about sustainability for many years, aligning with our core values of elimination of waste, efficiency, and respect for the individual. When we started, it wasn't fashionable or in vogue yet. But at Scania, we're living it. We're rolling out our sustainability plan for our company-owned branches across Australia. And we are keen to share those ideas with you tonight. We are ready when you are. The entire Scania team is ready to assist you achieve your environmental outcomes in a commercially sustainable way. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> now I'll hand you back to Jules for more on Scania's business plans. Thanks, Thanks so much, Anthony. At Scania, <clears throat> we have a global focus on investing in public transport with a view to reduce road congestion, reduce pollution from private cars and the transport industry, and to offer an improved customer experience through more comfortable and more environmentally friendly transport. Today, the public is very much aware of environmental and sustainability issues, and it's looking to our industry for solutions in order to meet the challenges of climate change. Buses have traditionally had a reputation as being smelly, noisy, and with dirty exhaust emissions. The game has changed, and industry now has an opportunity to redefine its role in society. But for us, and for you, it's not just about greening up our products. Our services have to match public needs in terms of frequency, routing, and then there's the issue of personal safety for our vulnerable road users as well. Preventing incidents is good for driver well-being and reduces operator costs and stress, as well as improving the passenger experience. Our driver and vehicle monitoring provides peace of mind, as does driver training and the follow-up coaching via our unique Ecolution program. The focus on driver safety in the workplace also increases safety of other road users and pedestrians. Another important point that sets us apart is our support network, which combines both corporate and independently owned facilities. We own and operate eight Scania sales and service branches in capital cities, and with a new venue opening up at Eastern Creek in Western Sydney next month. Our branches are backed by a national network of 65 authorised independent service and parts dealers, many of whom are here tonight. So welcome, guys. Thanks for making the trip down. Across our network, a key part of our uptime offer 
is our factory trained technicians supported by the latest in diagnostic tooling. So no matter where you are, you've got OEM training and experience supporting your business. And supporting all our branches and dealers, we've got two brand new parts warehouses in Australia. And they're a lot bigger than the ones they've replaced with our parts holding now at an all time high. And you know why? Because there's a lot more scanners on the road these days. The benefit being less downtime for all of our customers. We look at our services portfolio. It includes a range of repair and maintenance contracts that takes the guesswork out of our fleet management as well as our finance arm, Scania Finance Australia, which has designed financial packages to suit our local needs. At Scania, we have a really strong focus and commitment on our employees, with a, an ongoing focus on continual professional development. During COVID, we managed to retain all of our experienced staff in order to be able to service your needs and preserve the wealth of experience within our workshops across Australia. We also supported the bodybuilding industry, we boys, uh, by pre-ordering vehicles to have stock ready for when the market returned to normal, but to also help our partners in the industry survive the downturn so they could keep their trained staff employed as well. So with the stock on hand of our tried and true K chassis, along with the arrival of our new Generation 6 platform, there's no bus manufacturer, manufacturer better positioned to provide you with a sustainable pathway your business demands to the zero emissions future your customers deserve. Well, that's enough of me talking. It's time now to welcome the star of the show. Euro 6 emissions, we should have got that zero emission bus run. Uh, all jokes aside, ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to introduce our new generation bus chassis, capably delivered by our own local legend, Trevor O'Brien. <laughs> if you can see him, Trev. Yeah, so about today. This is worse than a Pretty Sally coming down Pretty Sally in, in winter. Fog. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. With 40 years of experience, there's nobody better equipped to give you the full rundown on our brand new baby. Well, thanks, Jules. Hello, great to see everybody. Lots of familiar faces. I'm sure you're out there. <laughs> <laughs> These low entry route buses, school charter chassis, are our first iterations of a whole new, uh, whole new range that also include three axle and articulated versions. Plus, for the first time, as Michael touched on before, our first full low floor battery electric powertrain in due course. Ongoing R&D program means we will continue to roll out innovations throughout the product life, as is the Scania way. 
there's always more to come. For the new bus generation launching here tonight, the entire chassis and powertrain have been upgraded for greater efficiency, a longer working life, lowered emissions and of course reduced operating costs. So Trev, I guess at the end of the day, what does that really mean for our customers? Well the engines first of all are more efficient. Uh, they're a lot, uh, use a lot less fuel and compatible with a whole range of biofuels. We also have a new 500 horsepower top of the range coach engine, ideal for the hard working three axle coaches. So at the end of the day, I guess still modular, still familiar, but a bit further refined in operation. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Transmission choices, for example, the new 12 speed OptiCruise with the lay shaft brake for faster gear changing and smoother gear changing is now standard across the range. Or you can specify the new ZF six-speed automatic as an option. And that sounds great. And I guess, just a query, while you've been out driving around and testing these new buses, have you found them easier? Sure have, yes. The new independent front that's coming with the, the coach chassis, you certainly feel a noticeable improvement with on-road performance and handling. We also have, when we have one, uh, electro-hydraulic steering for the tag axle versions when they come. And to the all-important topic of safety, Trev, I guess what's happening on the new bus generation chassis with regards to the new safety features? Yep, we've got that covered as well. Drivers, other road users, passengers and pedestrians will all feel safer in and around the new Scania buses. We are fitting an array of driver assistance systems to advise and alert the driver, aimed at keeping buses away from other pedestrians and cyclists and other road users. So just take a quick look at the things we have up on the screen we're talking about. Improved adaptive cruise control, blind spot warnings, vulnerable road user warnings, lane departure warnings, integrated AEB braking and collision warning. I guess that means our new buses will be smarter, safer and provide a greater level of protection for everyone. Yep, absolutely, and the benefit, benefits to the operators are clear to see. Importantly, they help prevent accidents. We want to reduce repair costs, increase uptime, even potentially reduce insurance premiums, and importantly, maintain good driver mental and physical health. Well, it's all sounding pretty good so far, but for our bodybuilders who are here tonight, what are we doing to make life easier for them? Oh, the bodybuilders. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, the main change is with the electronic interfaces um, that are much simpler and more logical for the bodybuilders to build on. Programmable switch gear uh, reduces congestion on the dashboard, allowing the option to have bodybuilders integrated into the chat or the body functions integrated into the chassis electronics, reducing duplication. Should lead to reduced bodybuilder costs. <laughs> Okay, move on. Another key change here is this brand new driver station. This is all new. Drivers are going to love the new layout. Uh, the design learnings from the new truck generation, um, which has been lauded around the world. So the dash is now lower. You can see that straight across the top. There's more adjustments in the steering column, which benefits a wider range of driver profiles. And we have more information in the dash, with the buttons grouped for, for logical operation. And the switch gear is easier to use as well. And there are new graphics in the instrument binnacle. More buttons on the steering wheel means controls that can be accessed easily without taking your eyes off the road or the mirrors. We've replaced the previous generation ZF push button controller with a rotary dial now. And this new feature down here will be a game changer. We have a completely new electro-pneumatic park brake with built-in, multiple built-in safety features, including the elimination of possibility of bus rollaways. Well, that's got to be good news for all bus operators. Hey, Joely. <laughs> yep, the new driver station aims to ensure the driver is well informed, has good visibility and can maintain dynamic control of the vehicle. We've also included ventilation outlets in the dash for the first time for a more comfortable driving experience having the right temperature in the right place, getting air onto the face of the driver. More comfort equals less fatigue. You could say it's a breath of fresh air then, Trev. Yes, Jules, exactly <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> yep. 
And all of what we've seen here tonight applies to our city, school, charter and coach applications and also the popular A30 and touring product. As you know, the touring is our school charter that is a charter bus that is a Scania from bumper to bumper. Benefits are one point of contact for all maintenance and repairs. The new Touring now features a more powerful 13 litre, six cylinder, 370 horsepower engine and available now with a ZF automatic. And of course, it's Euro 6 compliant. The Touring shares the dash with the rest of the generation and all of the ADAS, the advanced driver assistance features that we talked about earlier. And Jules, just remind me, how many cubic metres does it be? Nine, mm -hmm. nine cubic metres. Trev, no. Bin space in the tour. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Now, Michael referred to the launch of the new Bev buses, and I think it's the right time to share with every share it with everybody here tonight. Yep, good idea, Jules. And Michael's broken the ice with the issue. As you know, Scania has battery electric <laughs> solutions in Europe that generate the all important zero tailpipe emissions. And can we can announce? Or I can announce here tonight that our first Bev chassis has landed here in Melbourne. Um, and as is our custom, we will be building and validating it under typical Australian conditions prior to putting it into service later this year. We're obviously excited to have these first examples of the next big thing in bus technology in Australia. And of course, in the meantime, the here and now product remains diesel or hybrid electric powered bus. Thanks for your attention. And if you have any questions, I'm around all evening. Terrific. Thanks so much, Trev, for taking us through the presentation of the features and benefits of the all-new bus generation. I guess we hope you're as excited as we are about the increased safety. It's a, a huge advance over what we currently have on our existing generation vehicles and what is out there in the market because it will provide a more comfortable passenger experience, greatly improved driver area that Trevor's just detailed for us this evening. And I'd like to add that our very first NBG diesel chassis is already under a bus tech body and will be soon going into service in Adelaide. Now, as well as the most fuel efficient diesel powertrain on the market, we also have commercially sustainable options for renewable fuels and hybrid electric power, which will further reduce emissions right here and right now. Regarding the battery electric buses, as we mentioned, the first of the 10 units have arrived. And although we're in the early transition to battery electric vehicles here in Australia, this represents an important next step to our journey, on our journey to a zero emission transport future. Yesterday, our international borders opened and today Sydney Airport was closed for a little while. It's a bit of a killer. But tonight, our order books opened for the Scania new bus generation. And just as the return of inbound tourism should provide a boost for our coach and touring operators, likewise, the start of sales for the new bus generation will be a boost for all bus and coach operators in Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been very gracious this evening and surely you're beginning to tire of my voice, but I'd like to just ask for your indulgence just a little bit longer. We've got a little surprise. We're going to sneak down here and if I could ask Ron to assist Horst to come to the stage and Mr O'Brien hiding out the back there, if you could make your way down to the stage as well. Now it is going to be age before beauty. <laughs> um, so we could start, yeah. yep, take, take yeah. your uh, mask off Horst. Thank you. Come on in. So some of you may have been around in 1982 when a young Trevor O'Brien joined the Scania family under, under Mr Kerner's supervision. Believe it or not, that was 40 years ago. And here at Scania, we'd like to congratulate Mr O'Brien and acknowledge him tonight for 40 years of dedication to the Scania brand. Yeah. Thanks, Jules. There you go. <laughs> and he had no idea we were doing this, so that's even better. We represent three generations of Scania nas national bus managers 
underpinning the strength of the bond within the Scania family. So we've done it, but well, let's do it again. So let's give all give Trevor a big hand for his 40 years of service. <laughs> Thanks, Jules. Now, Trev, Ooh, okay. we are a living legend. But we don't want you to stop if anybody can recognise what this looks like. So here's a small totem token of our thanks for all your efforts. These yeah, are good looking photos there, aren't they? It's <laughs> for <laughs> so everybody to see. But don't think about stopping yet, Trev. We need you to stay on the bus or the chassis for a little bit longer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the formal part of our presentation this evening. But I would like to take this opportunity to thank those companies who made their buses available for display in our heritage area this evening. Neil Robbins and the Tasmanian Bus and Coach Society, Society Matt and Don Joyce from Wangaratta Coach Lines, and Adam Begg and Michael Sewards from the Kinetic Group. But I would especially like to thank the Dyson Group for making available the bus you're about to view. So please join my Scania colleagues and I for a closer look at our new chassis and fully built up city bus. Thank you one and all. Thank you.